Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Gardening by the Moon. In this edition I'm going to look at one of the major cycles which is the waxing and waning moon. Also known as the synodic lunar rhythm it takes 29.53 days to complete and basically uh, the waxing is starts from the new moon uh, and the moon is waxing until it's full and then from that point to the next new moon it will be waning. Now the effect of this cycle seems to be in the energy of the plant and where that energy is directed. So for example, during the uh, waxing stage, when the moon is getting brighter, then uh, any sowing done um, will germinate quickly. Also, um, any, anything that's mowed or pruned um, will, um, will grow back quickly. So the energy is definitely therefore on the, uh, on the growing. Um, now in, in the uh, the waning moon, I did read somewhere that the waning moon was good for planting below ground crops, but uh, these uh, biodynamic services, whose calendar I'm going to be using, doesn't really talk about planting much on um, the waning moon, uh, although it does suggest that potatoes are not good in the waxing moon. So we'll see about that, but, um, but yeah, anyway, so um, waning moon jobs um, are things like um, cultivating weeds, um, uh, pruning. Um, uh, I also read that um, it's a good time to preserve, preserve foods that you, um, that you harvest. So uh, bottling wine might become a uh, regular feature of the, uh, the waning moon cycle. But anyway, that's, uh, that's another story. So here's a copy of the calendar that I'm going to be using. Um, I should put a link in the description below so you can get your own if you want. But uh, it's, it's, each month has two pages. Um, it starts with the, uh, the daily page um, and then a more general open for notes page. Um, they show the uh, waxing and waning moon by these triangles. So um, this is waning going narrower into the new moon and then waxing out to the, uh, to the full moon. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the first of the cycles. Um, I'm sure it's all in conjunction with uh, the other cycles and I know there's uh, other special dates and things we need to look at so it's all going to get a bit more complicated than that it, when it's all put together of course. Um, yeah, so the next, what, next uh, episode I'll probably be looking at the ascending and descending moons which uh, seem to be another of the, uh, the major cycles. And finally, I just thought I'd share this with you. Uh, this is a picture of my first ever attempt at making bread. Uh, and I can assure you that despite its appearance, it looked a lot better than it tasted. But anyway, it's all part of the learning curve, isn't it? So uh, eventually I'll be making better bread and better videos and hopefully living a little bit healthier. But anyway, until next time, take care. Bye.